Morning world, it's quarter past seven on the 19th of July, 2013. Pattern up there in the sky is getting real cranky now. Jupiter's now officially opposite Pluto. The heat is building, astrologically speaking, and I do expect events over the coming couple of weeks to be pretty definitive. I'm also looking at the heliocentric chart, the big picture, which is not involving retrogrades. And that talks to me of how the coming couple of months are still going to have a lot of reverbs and reverberations about it. And to those astrologers amongst you, I'm sure that many of you have already seen the pattern that's coming up over the month of April next year, which would in many ways be the finale to this whole, whole situation that's been building over the last, I don't know, 15 years or so since the eclipse in 1999. And I'll do a section on that 1999 solar eclipse, uh, Grand Cross pattern, another time because enough of you have asked for it. But today I want to look at the single big aspect that's out there and that's the current station between Mercury and Pluto. Mercury is about communication, reading, writing, thinking, speaking, moving, socialising, talking, interacting at all levels. Retrograding cancer is not the best position because it's always going to be swamped by lots of indiscernible, vague, confusing and non-logical feelings, emotions and sensations, which is going to be very hard to find some type of cohesive or rational explanation for. Therefore, Mercury retrograding cancer is straight away best advised not to make decisions based on logic, rationality and facts, because there's still more information to come. However, now that Mercury is opposite Pluto now and for the next week or so, it does seem as if the intensity and the extremism and the potential mental or verbal compulsiveness or obsession is only going to get stronger. You may find people around you sort of uh, running loose at the mouth. There's going to be a lot of people just letting their minds go and they're just going to kick and scream and cry and bitch about how hard their lives are and how hard the world is and Yes, it is. And get on with it. Sorry. Uh, with Mercury opposite Pluto, the capacity for being at the same time as extremely sensitive and very uh, uh, evocative at an internal level, at the deep rooted psychological level. Mercury's feelings in that area, three inches below the navel, where Mercury and Pluto do interact are going to really start sort of mixing up a storm for a lot of people. And it's going to create in the world, unfortunately, a seemingly hot point where tempers are going to be raised, voices will be shouted more and more, and people aren't going to listen. It's not the easiest week of the year. But with Mercury retrograde opposite Pluto, for those people that are... For those people that are astute enough, intelligent enough, and perhaps canny enough also, they will know not to step back. To, they will know not to step forward and take things on the chin. They will know to step back and know that this is a transitory period and know that in two weeks' time you'll be looking at it and thinking, I'm really glad I didn't make any decisions or take any actions then. It's a hard one right now. If you're going to make on-the-spot choices, if you're going to take on-the-spot decisions now and over the coming week with Mercury retrograde opposite Pluto, do so in a way that is ruthless. Do not do this from anger. Anger now will self-defeat anyone or everything. If you must do something, do it in a cold, impersonal, detached objective way that is borderline ruthless without feeling or emotion and do it quick and sharp. Apart from that, most decisions, please don't go, don't go making big choices now. They're not going to work out the way you expect. It's not going to be as easy as you'd like. And another week, Mercury won't be retrograde. Another three days, two days, Mercury won't be retrograde. But it's still going to be opposite Pluto. Keep the lid on things. Or if you can't keep the lid on things, let it out in a controlled way. Don't let things get explosive. Today, today's the moon in Sagittarius. Way, great, great position for the moon. I'm biased because my moon's there. But seriously, today's a day where people are not going to go around being broody. Today's a day where people are going to be go around being mouthy. So 
Better to speak your truth and get it out there in the world than sit on it and fester on it. With the moon in Sagittarius and the sun in Cancer, it's a time to express one's feelings. And yeah, you may not be at your most subtle, diplomatic, sensitive or tactful today. But you're going to be at your most honest. Have a good day. Catch you later. Bye.